YouTube. The travels are back. I'm currently in the car. It's been in the shop for a while, for two weeks. It was in the shop for two weeks. They had to replace the transmission on it. Uh, but I got it back, and the travels have begun. I'm going down to see my mom today. So this is another travel vlog. That's what it's called, dude. Vlogs and travels. Y'all see some sites down there and all that fun stuff. Might even get to look at the beach. I don't know yet. Uh, we may not go down there. I don't know yet. Uh, but as of right now, I'm on my way to go to the house. Behind me right here. What you see right there behind me is my work truck. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna go take this to the house. Get myself together. Put it in the car. Take my uncle that's driving the work truck home. And, uh, we'll, uh, from there we'll go drop him off. We'll pick up Jessica. You know, the one y'all seen in the vlogs of me, her mom, and Said, start heading south. I'll probably check in every now and again while we on the way down there, but for now, I'll see y'all when I come back. I'm going to take a look straight up until I get it through the camera. Don't you look straight up? There's Noah. Hi. We are at the, uh, San Jacinto Battlefield, San, Battle of San Jacinto, Texas. This is where Texas won its independence from Mexico on March 27th. No, that's, that's, that's. Yeah, this is, this is actually, this is the monument they would put up for the battle. And this one is actually taller than the George Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. Over there in the distance, we'll get it, we'll get closer to it in a little bit, but that, that's the battleship of Texas, y'all. Oh, What's up? Those big turrets on there, aren't those, uh... Those are guns. No, aren't those, uh, anti-air turrets? No, they're, they're the turrets that are made to fire into, uh, there's a reflecting pool. What? I gotta go help them up the staircase. Oh, look at that. You can see sea cells. Yeah. Sea cell imprints. Yeah, I can still help you up it. I can help you up it. All right, I'm gonna pause this while I help my mom up the stairs, y'all. Yep. We got some cool views up here, y'all. Here goes Noah. Hi. I guess the way he does that every time. I guess that's gonna be Noah's YouTube thing for y'all. Hi. Right. <laughs> yeah. Whew. This is the battlefield around us. There it is, April 21st, 1836. That's when this battle happened. I'm getting a thing of the wall. That's when this battle happened. April 21st, 1836. That's when this battle was fought. So, do the math, Noah. This is fault. They fought here in 1836. This is year 2020. Do the math on that. 1836? It's 2020. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, because of the virus, we gotta wear a mask in here. So. Yeah. Just think, Noah, some of this stuff in here is almost 200 years old. Look at that. Some of the stuff inside this museum we got here. I think this is it right here. No, oh, that's one of the Mexican dudes. Somewhere in here is stuff. Here's Stephen M. Austin stuff right here, y'all. This is stuff for Stephen M. Austin. That's one of his guns. He's over here doing his thing. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, this is the museum and all of where the, where Texas was. Here's my great, 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 great granddad of, I don't know how far back, but he, he's related to us, Noah. Sam Houston, the guy that Houston, Texas is named after. And all that. Some of his personal affairs here. His reading glasses. And is that a phone pen? 
It's a fountain. Well, that's not a, a fountain. Well, what kind of pen that is is the type where you have, like, I think it's ink laying, about, laying around. You've got to dip that into the ink. Oh. And then you write after you dip it to the ink. It's one of those things. Now, you got that because Sam Houston, um, he was born, I forgot where he was born, but I know he died in Huntsville, Texas, and y'all see his grave in uh, one of his videos. You like your guns and all? Oh, no, 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 buddy. Anyways, he died in Huntsville, Texas. And uh, this is his signature. You know, see his grave, like I said, he's related to us uh, down the line somewhere. I do believe somewhere in right here is. That's a big Yeah, guns from the battlefield. Look at the look at the way the barrels are on that little pistol right there, Noah. You know the way that worked? You shove bullets in it. Yeah, but you know how that would work? When you pull the trigger, all those bullets at one time fired. At one time. And why is there a screw in the door? Huh? And why is there a screw in the door? It needs to spin? Yeah, you can you can make it spin or you can make it fire all at one time. Actually, hang on a minute. Maybe it's, it's a pepper box. Out. It's called the pepper box. Try to look at it. It fired multiple shots before being reloaded. Okay, so yeah, you would spin it. You fire it one by one and spin it. Okay. Uh, I'll show y'all what it looks like up top when we get up there, too. Here's the uniform for, uh... Okay, you're going up around the Mexican Army. This little dude is scared of heights, so he's not going to go up there. I am very scared of heights. That's uh, the Mexican uniforms, and that's the Texan uniform. Well, Texan back then they called them Texans, you know, my state flag. Like that rifle, like standing up, is about as tall as me. You see how that looks? All right, look. You see the way this is? Yep. The way that one is? Yeah. I'm trying to get on camera with my finger. That right there is what you call a percussion cap. That right there is what you call a flintlock, because that's a flint. That's a flint rock that goes in there. It hits that, creates a spark, which knocks the powder inside of it, makes it fire. That one just made it more simple. And that's just like that's a percussion cap. Or the rest of a gun. No, this is what we used before then. That's about what the that's the type of bit rifle they would have about the time the Civil War started. Uh, this is a long rifle. Isn't this? Uh, it's called a long rifle. Isn't this uh, shooting musket balls? Yes. There's another flint lock pistol. That's it. It's not flint lock. Concussion cap. Percussion. Percussion. Percussion cap. There you go, buddy. That's a uh, officer. There's some more uniform. Now this looks like a tank. I don't think I got a brown vest in here. Brown vest. They might have a brown vest in here. Check it out. A thing from Texas Battleship, which is further down the road. I can show you all the outside of it, but as of right now, we can't go inside because they've been repairs. So I can't show you all the inside of it. Is it like what we to plug it? Yeah. But yeah, I wish I could say all this is what it looked like on the outside. Of course, y'all see it in real life here in a little bit. That's the te Battleship Texas, and uh, yeah. I'll say I wish I could take him inside of it, but as of right now, they got it closed because of repairing. You got to think that the battleship is almost 100 years old. So, all right, I'll see you in a while. We are now 498 feet up. 490 feet up. 498 feet up. This is the top of that monument y'all looking at from the outside. 498. They got the uh, observation thing shut down because of the virus, but that's what we're looking at. I don't remember if you see downtown Houston from here or not. Shit, Tana, right there is the Texas Battleship. There's downtown Houston right there. Alright. I had a small new road with the camera just in, but check it out. Thank <laughs> you.
There's downtown Houston from here. Right there. That's how far we are from it. Gotta get out the other window here. If you look out this window, you can see downtown Houston. Yes, I look out. All right, now get over here. Straight down. If y'all look straight down there, can you see it on camera or not? You look straight down and you can see our vehicles. Oh, yeah? Alright, y'all see where the windows were at we were just looking out of? Up there. See that little spot right there? That's how far we were. Just, we, that's where we just sat. 498 feet up in the air, y'all. So that's where we came from. Now we gotta find an area around here where the uh, Mexican army surrendered to the Texans. Somewhere around here. We'll find it. Yeah, this is the uh, San Jacinto Battlegrounds. Somewhere. Hey, we're just up inside of that. That's windows we're at. And right now, I see it from where I am. I gotta look straight up. Probably see it behind me pretty good, too. Hold the camera like that. Hurricane or tornado comes. Just good old. Well, then again, the way this is designed, can okay, probably just suck you right out of here. <laughs> If it floods, you're in trouble. If it floods, well, right now it would be too much bad because you have to flood a lot of ground because it'd be a waterfall over here. Yeah. How cool is that? You just make sure the daggum current don't carry you down. You want to help downstairs or you want to do that? Alright, I gotta let y'all go help her down the staircase here. Whatever. I just figured out the area that we are from me back up real quick, y'all. The area that we're in right now is this area that we're in where this monument's at. It's where the Mexican camp was at in the area of the battle. Mexican camp? Yeah, this is where the Mexican side was camped at. And then, um, we'll show y'all where the Texans were camped out too. Can you film again? Yeah, see? Hi. Hey, so I tell y'all that's going to be his YouTube thing. <laughs> right behind us is the Houston Ship Channel, right there. There's a tugboat. Look at that. It's a tugboat. But this is considered one of the busiest ship ports in the world. This is the busiest ship channel in America, though. What does that say? America go through, like, Canada, too? Or does it stop at Canada? What? Does America stop at Canada? Yeah, it's also Canada. But Canada's United a whole different country. It's through Canada. No, the United States don't go into Canada. Canada's a whole separate country. Oh. Yeah. We're trying to figure out what this thing is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It looks like a compass. You can tell by the coloration of it. It's made out of copper. It's a compass. Yeah, it's a compass. It's pretty cool. Hey, cool. Let's go check out this little cemetery over here, y'all. What's up? You know when you like playing a game and you want to kill it, you don't have to be asleep. You don't? Yeah, you can just like. There's a way where you can just make it to where you like. There's a little where the people can only see the game, and they you don't have to be asleep. You can make a video of a game. Oh yeah, you can record it without be without being live. I know, I do that sometimes. Not many though. <laughs> what you rather me not stream it? No, I'm just saying, like, if you want to. Apparently, this is a. Uh... That's a name from Destiny Two. <laughs> the on name honors Lorenzo Zavala, Vice President of Republic of Texas. Zavala. In term. From March 17th to October 17th, 1806, born in Yucatan and educated in his seminary of, I don't know how the crap you say this word. What word? That. Zavala was. 
El Defonso. El Defonso de Vala. They would take a nine year old to tell me that. <laughs> and you're like 30. I'm 32, thank you. <laughs> you're. Alright, anyways, he was an Everett Liberal who was jailed in 1814-17 for political activities in prison. He learned English and became a medical doctor in 1821. He was a member of the Cortez Madrid in Spain and later was governor of the province of Mexico. As Mexico won independence from Spain, he kept working for democratic reforms loyal to the 1824 Constitution in Mexico. He opposed dictator Santa Ana and moved to Texas to seek freedom. On March 2nd, 1836, he signed Texas Declaration of Independence. Later, he signed the Republic of Texas Constitution. Married twice, he has six kids. The family honored in his memory by keeping alive his ideas after his early death. The legislator of Texas, 1858, named Zavala County in his honor. Lorenzo D. Zavala has I mean, many of his descendants and some of their neighbors or friends were inherited in his Zavala family cemetery on the plantation across Buffalo Bayou from this from this site. What this is plaza is thing? dedicated in memory of President Zavala. Okay. What? Yeah, but it's limestone. Yeah. This is the cemetery. There's some more graves over there. I'm gonna check out here in a minute. But right now, this is these. What does this one say right here? It's just like she's here. Persons have been known to be buried here. Okay. In other words. Not all these graves. Just go see. This is over here by the street. In other words, there are probably are some people out here buried. It's not marking a grave, y'all. Unmarked grave. See, that's where we were earlier. Across the road. Now we're over here. And right over there is that's a cool looking flower. My nephew noticed this, y'all. There's a lot of them. Anyways, right over there's a battleship. We'll go over there in a little bit. I'm gonna see if this is. There's another grave or whatever here by this tree. Yeah, gum, man. Look how much my feet are sinking into the grass here. Look how much mine are. That's how you know you got good grass like that. Oh, look at that boat. Um, you know when you look at that tower, alright? Huh? I got a piece of limestone from it. Okay, cool. You can keep it. You, you can hang on to it, buddy. You can hang on to it, buddy. I'm just going to freak in bed. Oh, this means that this tree is dedicated to the people that fought in the Confederacy. Is it? Okay, what kind of tree is that? Okay, so these people fought here in this battle of San Jacinto, then they went on to fight for the Confederacy. This is huh? This is granite. There you go. So these people fought here in Noah, and then they went and fought in the Civil War, too, after this. It's a tree. That's all I know. It's a tree. Go over and check these out over here. Oh, there's some stuff over there, too. Let's go over here, though. Let's go take these graves out, see what these are over here. So that's the Zavala cemetery thing there. Let's see who's buried off over here. There's a town called that here in Texas, too. Yeah. It's up, it's up beside Lufkin. See, I'm seeing parts of this. I'm seeing parts of this, uh, battlefield I've actually never seen before. Because you see, we come here and go straight to the boat, and it's straight to the cement, straight to the tower, and leave. We wouldn't come explore these other areas. And this is the same area where last time I came down here and you saw me do that thing for, uh, uh, what do you call it? Stephen of Austin. This is the same area there, too. Stephen of Austin was buried No, Stephen of Austin was buried over there in Jones Creek. Remember when we went there last time we came down? Me and Aunt Jess? <laughs> this one was born in 1828, died in 1866. 
Look at the year he was born, Noah. Born in 1776, died in 1867. That one was born in 1861, died in 1864. That's, that's a youngin. Look at here. Oh, that ain't young. Because they were born in 61, died in 64. That's a big chunk of quartz. That is a big chunk of quartz. There it is. There's the shit. You can see it through the trees right there. I see the anterior. I see them. Yeah, too bad we can't go up there on it though, buddy. Yeah. Aww. If you were, y'all see the inside of the boat. Okay, what I look for is real. It's magic. Just turn back There's on. Adams. They were born in 1779. 1797. Dyslexia moment, y'all. Remember the Alamo? That's something they were saying here. Remember the Alamo? Remember Gonzalez? Bubble Dean. I forgot what I was going to say. What I'm surprised about is there's a town named by a game character. Yeah. Actually, they probably got that name. Noah having no idea. He's going to turn into a game character. Hey, look at there. This right here. Where that stands for Thomas Jefferson Rusk, which is the uh, guy that Rusk County that we live in is named after. Well, Jessica and I live in it. I live in Gray County. Alright, see, it says, remember Goliad. And remember the Alamo. For those of y'all that don't know, the Alamo happened before this. Uh, the Alamo is a. I forgot how many days of a siege it was. I will go and show y'all that one day too. It happened for several days, but they were bombarding the Alamo for a while, and it was like a hundred and something people inside the Alamo, and there's thousands of troops, so they were vastly outnumbered. It's just basically a massacre out there. The Texas troops, and uh, this is where we got a revenge, basically. I guess you way to put it. This is where they fought, and they won the independence of Texas. Where Santa Ana surrendered to us. I was just calling him Santa Ana because his actual name was Carlos the something Santa Ana. It's just like a freaking five long, you know, five word name long. You know, five words long name. But I'm going to go over here. Look at the boat. See you on a bit. We're back. See? Yo, yo, y'all. See you in a close part of it. Over here so I can get a cool picture with it. The USS Texas. Yeah, Battleship Texas, USS Texas. It's, they ordered it. They ordered it to be built in 1910. It was put in Yellowstone in 1914. It took two years to build. Yeah. No, no, excuse me. They, it, 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 it started. They ordered it in 1910. It got put in Yellowstone in the water in 1912. It got commissioned as a military ship in 1914. Then it came out of the military in 1948. It is sea combat in World War Two. Well, World War One. Actually, saw more combat in World War One. Actually, where I saw most of combat at. But this is the USS Battleship like Texas. The, uh, YouTube channel be amazing. Yeah. I hate that they can't. Um, you can't go inside of it anymore. But this is it. I've been on that boat. I got pictures of me standing. I got pictures of me standing right there. Up, up there. I've never been inside. As far as every time I've been there, you've never been able to go inside that very up top, buddy. Never been able to go inside, but I've been on the side of that down below because there are some, like you see that right there. There's still several more floors of that below the water. Yeah, there's still several more thick decks below the water there. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get some uh, pictures of him here. I'll see y'all in a while. <laughs>